in the previous lecture we completed unit rectangular function we completed unit rectangular function and in this lecture we will study unit triangular function the idea will remain same like unit rectangular function we will have a unit area we will have unit area the area will always remain one now there is difference between unit triangular function and triangular function the triangular function may or may not have area equal to one but a unit triangular function will always have area equal to one in case of unit triangular function we have triangular pulse and because of this reason we also call this function unit triangular pulse we represent any triangular function by tri inside the parenthesis t and in case of unit triangular function tri t is equal to t plus 1 when time t is less than equal to 0 but greater than equal to minus 1 and when t is less than equal to 1 and greater than equal to 0 tri t is equal to minus t plus 1 you can see we have equation of straight lines this is the first line this is the second line and by using this definition we can easily plot the waveform of unit triangular function so the next part of this lecture is plot of unit triangular function try t let's say this is t equal to minus 1 and this is t equal to 1 and at this point try t is equal to 1 now by using this definition we will plot the waveform in the first case when try t is equal to t plus 1 we have the equation y equal to mx plus c in which m the slope is equal to 1 the intercept c is also equal to 1 y is equal to try t and x is equal to t when slope is equal to 1 we know the angle theta is equal to 45 degrees theta is the angle between the straight line and the x-axis and we measure theta in anti-clockwise direction the equation of first straight line is try t equal to t plus 1 the equation of first straight line is try t equal to t plus 1 when try t is equal to 0 t is equal to minus 1 when try t is equal to 0 t is equal to minus 1 so we have one point and the coordinates of this point are minus 1 0 when t is equal to 0 try t is simply equal to 1 when t is equal to 0 try t is equal to 1 so we have another point and the coordinates are 0 1 now we will join these two points to get the straight line this is the straight line try t equal to t plus 1 in the same way you can obtain the second straight line try t equal to minus t plus 1 the straight line is having the negative slope m is equal to minus 1 this means theta is equal to 135 degrees and as we measure theta in anti-clockwise direction we have 135 degrees as the value of theta and 10 135 degrees 10 135 degrees is equal to minus 1 and for this straight line theta is simply equal to 45 degrees now we will find out area we will calculate the area of this unit triangular function area of triangle is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied with base multiplied with height base is equal base is equal to 2 and height is equal to 1 so area area is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 1 so you can see the unit triangular function is having the unit area now we will discuss few properties of unit triangular function in the first property we will find whether unit triangular function is even signal or odd signal for this we need to perform the time reversal and after performing the time reversal we will have tri minus t and you will find it is same as 
try t and this is the condition of even signals so unit triangular function is an even signal unit triangular function is an even signal in the second property we will find whether the unit triangular function is energy signal or power signal first we will calculate the total energy and for this we will integrate mod tri t square from minus infinity to infinity there is no need to integrate from minus infinity to infinity we will integrate from minus 1 to 1 mod tri t square dt from minus 1 to 0 from minus 1 to 0 tri t is equal to t plus 1 so we have t plus 1 square dt plus from 0 to 1 we have minus t plus 1 square dt after this you have to find out the total energy by yourself this is the homework problem and you also have to calculate the average power once you have your answer post it in comment section i hope unit triangular function is clear to you i will end this lecture here see you in the next one